I've recently been tweeting and making videos talking a lot about Hugging Faces spaces for visualizing deep learning models and having these kind of user interfaces to visual input output capabilities of different deep learning models. So here's one of the coolest ones I've seen lately from Spacey Health C Pipeline. Uh, so basically what you can do is it looks for, uh, it's a text processing model that can help you with things like uh, drug supplement interaction or supplement supplement interaction. And this isn't, you should not take this app as medical advice, but it's kind of a cool thing for looking at uh, what this kind of thing can do. And again, this is a demo on Hugging Face Spaces. So something that I was curious about that I just Googled is uh, I just searched on Google search uh, interaction effect of caffeine and GABA just out of curiosity. And so I just copy and pasted the first thing that Google returned. And let's see what uh, what Health C pipeline from Spacey can do. So we start off with named entity recognition. So this is one of the most common supervised learning tasks where you take in some input and then you assign to each token a discrete label like uh, what you d predefine some set of categories like in this case condition benefit the, the kind of things as you look through the literature on uh, like clinical trials or these general kind of things about supplements and drugs and these kinds of ideas. So first up, we see this named entity recognition, one of the coolest tasks in supervised learning, most interesting things for studying natural language processing and deep learning. So next up, we have segmentation, blinding and classification. So we see how we break. So I pasted it in a very long uh, sequence. And this is one of the most interesting things about modern natural language processing models is they're going beyond 512 tokens as input. We see things like Big Bird, the Sparse Transformer, Transformer XL, et cetera, et cetera. There are maybe greater than 150 of these kinds of models. So anyways, they can take in these long inputs and then say do tasks like segmentation at a like a span level. If you've heard of things like span BERT, the idea is don't mask out just a single token, mask out like a contiguous sequence of five to eight or whatever. So here we've uh, chunked up each of the sentences or say half of long sentences and we're classifying them based on the sentiment. So a positive sentiment could be interesting for at, uh, like uh, advocating for some kind of supplement. So the less GABA, the more nerve transmissions occur. Uh, so I guess in this case, we're saying that it's good that more nerve transmissions occur. And I'm not a doctor, a neuroscientist, a neuro uh, like medical advisor. So I, I don't know if this is true or not. This is just what the model's output is with this random thing of uh, Google search, which maybe is credible. I haven't really done the background research on that particular part of this. So the next thing is aggregation. And this is where you have uh, multiple classifiers are aggregated into one final classification. So it sounds like uh, when you do things like say ensembling, but you're ensembling across the input. So an interesting idea of chunking up the input, running a forward pass for each chunk of the input, and then having just say like a sum, a weighted sum of the outputs of each of the models for something like positive or negative sentiment. And sentiment is very interesting for say the uh, interaction between caffeine and GABA. So if it's positive sentiment, maybe we can say that it's okay to take these two drugs together. And if it's negative sentiment, do not mix the drugs, that kind of motivation for these applications. So anyways, uh, please don't take this as medical advice, but I think this is one of the coolest examples on Hugging Face Spaces. And I really hope you thought this video was interesting.